Hello everyone, this is Mr. Campagna. Today we're going to be taking a look at some methods for modifying tables within Google Slides so you can fit more information and answer the questions in this assignment. So here are some of the philosophers and scientists that you've learned about today. And there's quite a bit of information for you to put into this small table right here. So I'm going to show you how to expand this so you have more space and, and some techniques for making sketches. So probably the easiest way to go about duplicating the slides is by selecting the slide we're interested in, which is this one here titled Independent Work, Atomic Models Through Bohr. We'll select it by tapping on it and then holding control down, we're going to tap the C button. This will copy that slide. Now to duplicate it, we're going to hold control again and tap the V button and this will duplicate it. And as you see here, we doubled the slide. Let's do that again. We have a third, a fourth, and tapping it a fifth time gives us five slides. Alternatively, you could right click on the slide, click duplicate, and do that a total of four times to give you five copies of that slide. Now I did it five times so I could devote one slide per scientist. So let's now create some space for us to work in. You can see that on the first of the five slides that I've created, I still have my five scientists. Uh, for the first slide, I just probably want to focus on Democritus. I'm going to highlight the four rows that come after Democritus and just tap the delete button. Now by doing that, you can see we only have the one row remaining. And if you just pick one of these columns and tap enter a few times, you can build the free space there. Now let's do the same thing for the second slide. So here we want to get rid of Democritus. So highlight that row, hit delete, and you notice that everything slid up. And then just like before, highlight the following three after John Dalton. Then select any one of the columns you choose and tap enter a few times to give you some room to work in. And now I'll do that for the last three slides. So that wasn't that bad, was it? All we need to do is just delete some of the rows and you could stretch out the size of the boxes that you can work in. Uh, while I have you here, there's one other thing I do wanna show you. I wanna show you how to sketch out some of these atomic models. You do have some tools up here. You have your shape tool and your line tool. For the shape tool, you may wanna use a circle. Now you could use this for drawing orbitals or drawing protons, neutrons, electrons. Uh, one thing you're going to notice is that the aspect ratio is not locked with these, but you could force it to a locked aspect ratio by holding on the shift button. And you'll notice that my circle now snaps to a perfectly round shape. It's no longer an oval. You can let that go. Now, by default, it will be filled in. If you want a transparent circle, just go to your fill color button. Click on that and you have an option for transparent. So now you have an orbital ring if you'd like. You can also use the shape tool to draw protons and neutrons. Again, you wanna hold down the shift to get a perfectly round circle if that's what you'd like. And then we can fill them in with a letter. For example, you might wanna fill it with the letter P to represent proton or give a little plus sign to designate the charge. Again, the way that you sketch this out is up to you. Another way to do it is to use the line tool or the scribble tool. To use the scribble tool, you would select from this drop down and there's scribble. And then you could freehand draw whatever shape you choose. So if you want to freehand draw your orbitals, or you want to draw in the charges, say there's an electron there, you might want to put a freehand letter E. So there are many different ways for you to go about doing this. Take a look at the shape options. You have many predefined shapes already in there for you. And you have the line tool, curve tool, scribble tool. Hopefully this makes this task a little bit easier. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.